I, is it recording? Alright, so it's winter break and usually I just waste winter break by sleeping and eating and doing things of that sort. Instead, I'm going to tell you guys five things about Muslims. Islam is a way of life. Islam with an S sound, not a Z sound, so it's not Islam. So we're not Muslims or Muslims or I don't know what other variations there are, but we're Muslims. So we pray five times a day. We pray at sunrise noon, afternoon, sunset, and the evening, approximately. So the way Muslims pray is a little different. We either stand, or we prostrate, or we put our face, feet, and hands on the floor. Is the most common freak-out phase for people, if they see someone like who looks like they're bending down on the floor. So that's just part of our prayer. So we pray five times a day, and because of that, we usually have to leave classes or maybe take a break from work or something to go and find a place to pray. Usually we look for quiet places to pray. I mean, we don't exactly go pray on the Eiffel Tower. We can pray anywhere, as long as it's clean. We don't pray in bathrooms. So the next thing you should know also about Muslims is that before they pray, they have to make sure they're in a state of wudu. And wudu is a state of cleanliness, of purity. You make wudu by washing your, so washing your hands, face, head, arms, and feet. And we usually do this in a bathroom. And sometimes you may walk in a bathroom and see a Muslim with their feet in the sink. You should not freak out. That is because that that is a part of, we have to wash our feet. In general, if you see a Muslim doing something and you think it's strange or you don't understand it, you should just ask them. So if you work for a Muslim, or if you work with a Muslim, or if you work over a Muslim, you can just expect that we'll need some time to go pray. It's just like five minutes. We fast in the month of Ramadan, which comes every year, and it follows our calendar. So our calendar is the lunar calendar. So that's why Ramadan comes about 11 days earlier every year, because when you compare it with the Gregorian calendar, it comes earlier because we follow the moon and the moon rotates faster than the sun does something, I don't know. We fast from sunrise to sunset, so we can eat any time between sunset and sunrise, but from sunrise to sunset, we cannot eat, drink. We also abstain from sexual intercourse during the month of Ramadan. To teach us self-control, teach us patience, to remember that people in the world are starving and to feel for them. Look forward to it very much because in that month, everyone's really, really nice. The other thing to know about Muslims is that we don't eat pork. Halal is a common, this is a common question, and halal basically means that the meat that we eat is slaughtered in a certain way. It's supposed to be slaughtered in a way that the animal wasn't harmed, like, as fast as possible. It also is a health, it also has a health benefit to eat halal because you can't, for example, eat animals that were shot or electrocuted or you don't know how they died, like, if you just see, like, a dead animal lying on the side of the street you don't just like pick it up and eat it because you don't know how it died and like maybe it has like a virus or something the other thing that you should know about muslims is that we do a pilgrimage we are supposed to do this once in our lifetime if we can which basically mean usually means like if we can afford it if we're old enough and old enough by the way is reaching puberty you go to saudi arabia you go to a place called mecca if you look up like muslim pilgrimage you'll see like a lot of people usually wearing like black and white um you don't have to but that's what people usually wear they are going um making tawaf tawaf which is like circling a black building i mean it's not a black it's a brick building but it's covered by a black cloth that has arabic script written on it in gold so that building is called the Kaaba, and that is our most holy place of worship millions and millions of other muslims from all around the world every country there's someone from every country there and you don't know each other at all but you all are doing the same thing you're all united and you're all there for the same reason that pilgrimage is called hajj i don't think i mentioned that that actually pretty much sums up our social life but oh, did i mention drinking okay so we also don't drink we don't drink alcohol and that is because drinking alcohol takes away your mind people don't treat drunk people very nicely on the same lines with alcohol we also don't do drugs we don't you know, smoke. We're not supposed to smoke. Whoever came up with cigarettes, I don't know who came up with it. it was someone thought of it, and it's a, it's, and it's the reason so many people have died since. To recap, we don't drink, don't eat pork. We pray five times a day in the random places, in classrooms, under buses, in chairs, whatever. We also make wudu, 
make wudu, which is like washing ourselves before prayer, and we do that in bathrooms, and so our feet may be in the sink. What else? Oh yeah, and the I guess the last thing, most obvious thing, is Muslim women wear hijab. It's kind of a side thing, but Muslim women wear hijab, and I get asked a lot, like, why are you wearing hijab, or, you know, did someone make you do it, etc. Uh, definitely it's an act of choice. We wear it because we want to be judged based on our inner beauty and based on what our personalities are, what our thoughts and minds are, and not like our appearance. Some people you will see them, you know, covering their whole face instead of just part of it. Uh, in the news that seems to be known as the burqa. Burqa, the, that word, is used for a cultural dress. Um, the word that is usually meant for the religious dress is the niqab. Um, anyways, you may see burqa, you may see niqab, they refer to the same thing. It's an extra level of religiosity, it's, you know, being closer to God, it's more modest. Some people are really pretty, so, you know, they really have to wear it. Um, again, it's a choice. No one has to wear niqab, no one should be forced, you know, no one is forced to be Muslim. Because you see, like, objectification of women all the time. Ads are so sickening. You're selling a car or you're selling a burger, but like, the woman is like the biggest part of the ad. We're not meant to be like flirted with and everything, because we just have feelings. And obviously looks matter, I'm not saying looks don't matter. Um, but this makes looks matter less. No one should judge someone based on how they look, because they can't control that. And because we all look pretty nice. If we focused less on looks in our society, then people would be more comfortable in their own skin and they would then be able to expand their efforts to other people and helping the world instead of their efforts always being on themselves and going back to them and how they can make themselves better. That is why I personally wear the hijab. I'm gonna stop talking now because I am boring. Bye.